Hey, you guys, I got a message for you, okay? Someone is thinking about you heavily here. All right, we got the Seven of Cups at the split with the Page of Inspiration here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and I believe Scorpio with the Seven of Cups. It's Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, so deja vu could be significant for you right now. You could be thinking about something in the past with it saying deja vu. The song I got for you was Rose Colored Lenses, Miley Cyrus. Somebody, um, somebody, look at, the, listen to the song, listen to the words. It says, never want to leave this room, daydream, deja vu. If I had control over you, we could stay like this forever, lost in wonderland. So Alice could be significant. Don't have to be with our head above the clouds, falling stupid like we're kids, wearing rose-colored lenses. Let's just play pretend, wearing rose-colored lenses. Pretend will never end, naked in conversation. Drown me in your delight, endless summer vacation. So something about the summertime could be significant. Uh, make a mess of a nice hotel, okay. All right, let's see what's up with this. Let me unplug my phone because that charger is getting in my way. Okay. Okay, so originally I was going to do a co-worker reading, but because I feel like that keeps coming through, but I guess it's not it's not this reading unless that comes through somehow. Unless it's a co-worker, so I don't know. I don't think that has anything to do with this message, but let's see what's coming out. Okay, we got strength in reverse here, which is Leo energy. I'm gonna turn that around, but then we got the hermit and that's virgo energy okay so with the strength in reverse this person is not they don't feel like uh strong right now they don't feel like they can fight this feeling whatever it is here what is going on spirit yes this is definitely someone from the past here with the six of cups that you had a very passionate connection here with the ace of inspiration leo aries sagittarius energy the Six of Emotions, which is the Six of Cups, is uh, Scorpio, I believe. It's either Cancer, it's Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got the Five of Voices here with the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So uh, I believe it is Scorpio Energy with that Six of Cups. So the Five of Voices at the bottom of the deck. This person could regret that. Maybe they feel like they knocked it all down with these dominoes here. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. They're looking back on this connection that you had. And with this suitcase here with this kid, I, and then we got the beach here. Something about the beach could be significant, but, uh, and travel. Maybe you traveled with this person or you got a room with them or something. They're really thinking about something you did in the past. I'm seeing the suitcase, so that's why I'm thinking about the travel thing. And it's like you... You made them feel like a, a kid again or something happy or something like that. So we got the nine of inspiration coming out here, which is the nine of wands. And then we got the emperor on the split, Aries, Scorpio energy. Hmm. What is up with that? The Knight of voices, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So, this person has made some kind of decision here. With this four of inspiration and four of materials, which is the four of wands and the four of pentacles, this person hasn't let you go. The four of wands is about, um, it can be about a home, but it can also be about a connection like a, a love connection, okay, which is what you had, obviously, with the music I got. The page of emotions. This person is feeling maybe a little bit emotional about the situation or the past here. All right, we got the hierophant at the, are coming out, which is Taurus, the nine of swords. Hmm. Dang, this person is is like having a hard time sleeping at night because they feel like I feel like this is a, like a hidden thing. There's a lot of major arcana coming out. I feel like this is a hidden thing with this justice card. 
the star with justice, that's Aquarius and Libra energy. Um, I feel like that you moved on after this situation maybe ended and you started to follow something here. With that star card, I'm getting like, um, you really started stepping into your north node energy, which means, I don't know a lot about astrology, but I can tell you a little bit about north and south nodes because um, learning about mine helped me a lot because your south node is what you're trying to leave behind, break away from. It's things, patterns that you're really to reach your highest potential in life. Um, you're supposed to be going towards your north node energy. So whatever your north node is, if you want to look into that, you know, do your research and find out what you can about the north and south node. I'm feeling guided to tell you that for some reason. But your your north node is what you're supposed to be or not as you don't have to but if you go towards the energy of your north node like if your north node is is um aquarius then you know learn about aquarius and what energies that they um uh, dang what's the what's the word i'm thinking of the energies that they the energy of Aquarius, look into that or whatever your North Node is. And that's what you would need to be learning about in this life to reach your highest potential here. So we got strength with the Nine of Cups. This person sees you have been through some kind of dark night of the soul here is what I'm getting. With the Hierophant and the Star and the Strength card, I don't know what you're doing, but they they respect it um okay we got the seven of cups here and we had the seven of cups before this person is definitely i feel dreaming about you they feel like that you are making your dreams come true or following your dreams or just that you're you've released a lot with this seven of cups with that snake slithering in the way there i always see that as releasing something Maybe you released your the energy of your south node somehow. We got the hermit, more Virgo energy. You you did a lot of going within with that hermit. You did a lot of going within and you figured out how, who you were, you know, what you needed to do, and you've been doing it is what I'm getting. This person respects that. They might miss the old you. Okay the 10 of materials. I feel like you are attracting like all these people. It's like a soul tribe. The 10 of pentacles is also about state stability and a lot of money too, usually. So, wow. You're really manifesting your best life here. We got the sun coming out, more Leo energy. So you could have Leo in your North Node or one of these other signs I called out. Uh, Wow, <laughs> the high priestess here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the initials M, L, C, D, A can be significant. That's that's what I'm seeing here. They don't have to be. Death and rebirth. You have really been through some kind of spiritual transformation here. Wow, that's nice. I saw this card at the split a minute ago. So this seven of inspiration, it's almost like you may be in front of a lot of people. This is almost giving me like a, like the curtains opening and you coming out on stage and it don't have to be like a stage. You could have some kind of platform or something. Maybe you got a business where you're drawing in a lot of customers or something or you will. That's what you're manifesting now. You're on your way there now. Wow. So in the past, you were, you know, you were having some fun with whoever this is. And dang, we got the 10 of cups. So the 10 of materials or the 10 of materials and the 10 of emotions, which are cups and pinnacles. This person, okay, I'm getting angel number 10, 10, really sees you as wish fulfillment this person wants to be with you okay the king of wands 
<laughs> the king of wands with the hermit this person it's like they want to they want to go back to how things were possibly or maybe yeah well pretty much because i haven't seen like an ace of pentacles here which would well we got the ace of wands which is kind of never mind <laughs> on the split we got the ace of pentacles this person does want a new beginning with you i feel like that you've been keeping to yourself you might have been keeping to yourself because you were trying to for some of y'all you could have overcome some addictions because i did see the four pentacles not everybody but that's for somebody we got the queen of pentacles here taurus virgo capricorn energy wow so we got two lions here. It's a lot of Leo energy. This person feels like y'all are the same. Whatever they feel like you are, you know, they are. They feel like you are the same. What else? Justice, Libra energy. This person feels like you, and I just seen 1111 on the timer. So they could feel like you're their, um, their soulmate or a soulmate, divine counterpart, twin flame, whatever, you know, they feel like you are definitely connected on a soul level here. But they feel like that you, you overcame some stuff here is what I get from this justice card. Like you cracked open and went, went in deep. Okay, we got the six of swords at the bottom of the deck too, which is about coming out of a kind of, choppy waters and moving into calmer waters and this hierophant at the bottom of the deck so we got two hierophants which is a lot of taurus energy also so you could have uh taurus could be your north or south node or leo scorpio libra any of these signs any sign could be but i just felt led to tell you about the north and south node you guys if you want to check more into your birth chart if you haven't already done that most of y'all have I, I realize that but if you haven't um okay well some of you haven't because i just seen two 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 on the timer so if you haven't there's lots of free sites there's even there's a free app let me see if i've still got it on my phone i think i might have deleted it Yeah, I don't see it and I can't think of the name of it right now. But there's like Cafe Astrology is one that I can think of off the top of my head. Okay, um, so the Hierophant. I do, this is another card that's giving me like you, you really got to yourself. You got to yourself and you did some thinking and you did some clearing out, you know, your energy or just getting away from people places or things that were causing you to be bound to something okay it could be habits it could be people anything like that so we got the nine of materials coming out here they see you as free now like and they admire that they see you as stable with all this, and I just saw 333 on the timer with the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles with this nine of pentacles I feel like Somebody, one of y'all is single, or maybe you both are, okay? Hopefully, but <laughs> the thing is, I just say hopefully because I, the Hierophant card could indicate marriage here or a long-term relationship, but it doesn't have to. One of y'all could be a Taurus, and it could be that you're some kind of spiritual advisor, or you could have some kind of job that's in a court system, or you were struggling with a court situation. There's a lot of things that the Hierophant could mean, but marriage is one of them. So we got the Nine of Pentacles here, and I feel like you're this Nine of Pentacles energy now, or like I said, maybe they are, but they want to come together with you and be this Ten of Pentacles, which is a couple coming together, being stable here. Yes, they want you to go for, they want you guys to go from the nine of pentacles which is usually single energy to you know hooking up connecting up and being the ten of pentacles now always use your you know your intuition and your inner judgment here your higher self whatever you need to do uh we got the ace of pentacles again taurus virgo capricorn this person they want to come to you with an offer here and maybe 
maybe they've been thinking about it a lot so uh spirit are they going to make a move or are they just going to be in dreamland because that is important are they actually going to make a move or are they just gonna keep daydreaming about it okay so with this four of swords at the bottom of the deck and 15 15 on the timer wow all right this person definitely wants a new beginning with you i do feel like they're going to tell you we got the ace of cups cancer pisces scorpio um with the fool aquarius energy with this page of cups and the tower see this peak line here <laughs> this is going to be they've had an epiphany about you and your connection this is going to be something either they didn't expect to feel this way or you won't be expecting this when they come at you like this. The Hierophant again. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to use a different deck. Let me get something from... Which one? Which one? Okay, I'm going to use the Island Time Wellness deck which came from Val at Lightworkers Together. You guys check out her channel. Val has, I want, she was doing tarot deck giveaways every month. I don't know if she's still doing that because she got busy with other things and she kind of pulled back on the tarot readings a little bit and she's doing other things on her channel. But uh, I won a few decks from her giveaways and she gifted me a lot of decks too. So, I really love Val. She's a sweetheart. Okay. Wedding rings and ascending. Okay. So, this person does want to take this to the next level here with you. Okay. We got Cupid's arrow at the bottom of the deck. Was that the dragonfly? With the dragonfly, which is about transformation. So, the way that this person felt about you, which was really a sexual thing before we got 17 17 on the timer this is it's turned into something else something more the way that they're feeling okay so i guess i will get some from the kipper deck and then one of my oracle decks and no i don't want to use the kipper right now i'm gonna use this new oracle deck that I got today, one of my daughters got for me. Okay, so this is the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. I'm gonna use this one by Amanda Lovelace. And I love that name, I'm a Mandy. Not an Amanda, just a Mandy. <laughs> okay, so I was named after the song. All right. Let me get something from the Believe in Your Own Magic deck as a message to close out for you and what you need to know. Feather, think first before you judge. Number 26. Whoa, I love this card. Look at this. Think first before you judge. So maybe this is spirit trying to give you the message that this might be someone that you are not expecting it to be, okay? Garden, something lovely will grow from this. Wow, that's beautiful. Number 15 could be significant. So this could be someone that you had some kind of fling with or something and you really didn't think that they had the feelings that they do or maybe their feelings have changed because that can happen too. Sometimes I see, I see readings a lot where people say, uh, and I've probably done it before too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging. <laughs> think first before you judge. But something that I really thought about a lot was I've seen a lot of readings where uh, readers will say somebody's coming back around who didn't see your worth before and this person is from the past but and that could be it you know it could be you're the same as you always been and they just didn't didn't ever see any value in you but at the same time people can also change too 
So maybe you leveled up. Maybe you were in some some kind of um, you know, toxic behavior yourself, and maybe you leveled up from that, or maybe you both have. But so I just felt guided to tell you that since it says, "Think first before you judge." So feather, maybe feathers are significant to you. You might come across one after you um, see this reading. Okay, let me get one more from this deck. I love this deck. It's really beautiful. I don't know if this is a new deck or what, but I've never seen it before. I'm still going to order the two decks I've been talking about ordering, which I haven't told y'all what they are yet because I'm going to surprise you because... Okay, so... This was at the bottom of the deck, and I usually call them out, which I just might as well because they always come out. So, number 11 could be significant, but sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. <laughs> and then we got number 24. Potion, remember to practice self-love. I kind of feel like you have been practicing self-love, and this person sees it. Because when you're, yeah, I do. With this card at the bottom of the deck, number 25, mural, be your own first priority. You may have a cat or they may have a cat. But what I'm getting is that you, that's what you've been doing. You've been making yourself the first priority. You've been focused on your work and your, your path, your career, your purpose, something here because you've leveled up. You've been practicing self-love, and that is what is attracting this person in. And what I was about to say, but I cut my own self off, was something about when, or not something about, but I'm trying to figure out how to say it. When you, when you get in the energy of loving yourself and not really giving a damn what somebody thinks, that's when you start attracting all kind of people. Okay, because you are on your throne, baby. I'm telling you, your potential is endless. You let, I feel like you leveled up, okay? So, that's how, or that's how this person sees it. I don't know if number 45 could be significant. You you broke some old cycles that you were in, definitely, or, or they have. Maybe you both have, I don't know. Maybe you both kind of let some uh, behaviors... Uh, go that you had going on in the past okay bitch fire stand up for yourself but with this and the throne I'm getting like magical energy though it's giving me like the ace of wands which was the first card out I love it be your own first priority I feel like you have been I don't know where I showed that card but I wanted to just say it again I feel like you've already been doing that. Um, okay, I'm going to get a couple from this other new deck my daughter got me, which is the Illustrated Herbiary. If that's how you say that. If not, I apologize. Okay, so let me get a couple from this deck just to wrap it up. Or close it out. That didn't come out right. <laughs> create space raspberry maybe you're needing to create space in your life for a person okay so if you're wanting to manifest a person love or anything like that this this card keeps showing up bet between dreams mugwort so there's more feathers too but you can create more space in your life for new things to come in by decluttering Things like that. I've actually seen that work before. My, look. So mugwort can be significant for some reason. Between dreams. Inner sanctum. Sweet violet. I feel like this person is dreaming about you. Or maybe you're dreaming about them. Or vice versa. Both of you start fresh which is like a new beginning and with all these constellations in the back i'm i'm feeling the you know check into your north and south node 
tough love and fortitude lavender and ladies mantle so you might want to look up these herbs just to see if they're significant to you and chickweed i didn't mention that chickweed okay 25 minutes okay i'm gonna pull a couple from the sacred forest because that's one of my favorite decks lately any more guidance for whoever this reading is for spirit any more guidance for whoever this reading is for moving forward thank you thank you uh -huh. follow your heart i'm gonna say follow your heart but always trust your intuition too something's going down this summer Remember that song mentioned something about the summer. So the song could be talking about some future energy. This is somebody from the past. You know, maybe this adventure y'all had together happened during the summertime I'm getting. I don't know, but you know, you could have got a lot of messages from this, maybe one or two. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please comment below if it resonated. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.